we now believe, we know that 3D printing is going to be big. And, um, you know, so many businesses don't think ahead about the implications of their technology. You know, uh, when you look about, uh, uh, you know, think about Uber and it was going to be a company that uh, was going to eliminate congestion in cities and now it's, you know, it's causing a lot of congestion or, you know, Juul was going to help people stop smoking and it started vaping and, you know, encryption was going to protect our privacy and it's now the domain of criminals. I mean, just, you have to think at the broad implications and for carbon, 3D printing is going to be big. We have to think ahead of schedule, ahead of time about environmental stewardship, right? So we've been able to now take that as an initiative out of the gates and think about our largest volume resins, Adidas running shoes, <clears throat> dental models, and what can we do to make those recyclable? You know, you think about Invisalign-like products, mm -hmm. right? We make a model of, uh, of, of teeth and you thermoform a sheet of plastic on it to make an aligner, and the 3D printed model is a single-use plastic. Mm -hmm. It's used for 30 minutes, and it's going to be landfilled for hundreds of years yeah. uh, because it's a thermoset. Well, our technical team has designed a resin that can turn that back to liquid, a reversible thermoset. And, uh, and we think we can do that for you know, elastomer lattices too. And so if you can do that, uh, and you have a business model, that collects those and doesn't re rely on the municipal waste stream, <clears throat> right? But you have a business model that you bring those models back, you chemically digest it, turn it back to liquid and reuse it. So that's where we're going. That's a higher calling. Uh, and when every part has got a barcode on there, you can actually quantify maybe for the first time somebody's environmental footprint or recycling, uh, data-driven. But you also get into... <laughs> Uh, you know, lightweight parts, bio, bio based feedstocks, local for local production, and ultimately avoiding inventory. You know, inventory ties up a lot of capital. A lot of parts are sitting in air conditioned buildings just waiting to be used. So you think about on demand inventory, and there's a lot of things on the environmental side uh, that are really enabled by having a digital transform, a digital manufacturing platform. 